Check, check, check. Step jobs. In three, two, one, let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the early morning. Drive boys, Monday boys. We have the rest of this weekend, boy. Hang on, yo. I had a great weekend. Tell them about it. Look at me. I can tell them about it. The boys work me hard, boys still enjoy it. Hands up and press go. I like that thing, you know. So if you like it, you're back. That's all right. Especially if you work hard all our speed. You deserve the rest. Get ready for them like girls. Three, two, one, pull. Pull them up, God. Pull them up. Please, next, get ready. And three, two, one. Pull them up, let's go. So this is good morning. Hands can go by the temple. Bend from the hip. In three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, open those legs wide. Keep the legs straight, hands go down to the floor. So I feel that stretch all the back of the legs. All the way up to your lower back. Bend your knees, drop your hands. Two, one, go. Hold it right here. After this, we can go up and down. Ready, in three, two, one, up and down, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come all the way up. Three legs together, fine balance, pull one leg to the back, you go hold on to the same, hold on to it here. Pull that same leg up to the front. Hey, my hand. Switch legs, pull up to the back. Pull that same leg up to the front. All right, sip a little water real quick. We can dunk in the hole, boy. All right, so it's lower body. So you can grab your two dumbbells. You can put them here between your legs. We do it a wide leg squat. Down, up. Right after those 10 wide leg squats. You bring the legs close and put the dumbbells on your side. 10 with the legs close. That's what we're dropping in this morning. 10 wide, 10 close. If you like, I don't even pulse no more. Right. No, not yet. Get ready. Legs wide. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring them close. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Rest. That's going warm. My three minutes to boost your confidence. So this weekend, right? My wife asked me to do some. I want to farm it, but then they call me farmer brown, but I to farm. Although I did some things with some vegetables and people. But my wife asked me to plant 20 plants grown to property. So that's your work. I can do it, man. But these are my terms and conditions. Ready again. <laughs> Ready again, legs wide. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs close. Three. Two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that are these my terms and conditions. I can do this. On Saturday, but on Sunday, I ain't doing nothing physical because I know the amount of work that I have to do, it was going to take a lot over me. Plus, I have already decided to train early on in the day. And I ain't gonna lie to you, if I didn't have that plan right, I would have been lick up, boy, go all across my lower back. The sore, sore, sore. Ready again. So first point. If you want most confidence, you just you can't go about this thing really nearly. You go on a plan. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs together. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number three, go on one more round. You can't go with this thing, Billy Nilly. But if you go with this thing, Billy Nilly, chances are you can you can produce the opposite of what you're trying to get done. You can have a low self-confidence in next task that you decide to go about. So you go out, have a plan. And I know what your plan is. I give you a guide. Your plan can be four day work over me. Your plan for be walking, running, skipping, push around the living room, steady, paying some baby music, whatever your plan is. You go come up with a plan. It's not going to work if you don't have a plan. Ready again. In three, two, one, white, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs together. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, rest. That's them over there. 
That's them up there. Your plan more be solid because along the way things can happen. People can come knocking at the door. My start coming say, Daddy, hey, you can scare me. On Saturday, it's not no problem. As long as they am able to complete the task that I agree with with, to mom, with, with mommy, that's all right. People can come. And they ask you to do things at the exact same time when you already plan to do what you say you can do. Tell them this time you would love to. Unfortunately, I have a previous engagement. Some people don't understand some book. But if you explain right, it will all work out. No. Deadlift. Why deadlift close? Legs wide. I want to keep this weight right underneath you. Right here, look. Are you sure what one say? Right here. Because it can get heavy. And when it does, you want to make sure that you have that weight right underneath you. If you want to buy the flour from the supermarket, whatever way you're lifting up, keep it close to your body. Get ready. That's the point. All we can do is bring the legs close. I don't know close. 10 and 10. 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bring the legs together. 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, rest. So in the process of boosting your, boosting your confidence, right? You also boost the people that are around you. Because here what happened. The rain start to fall. My wife said, bro, you can come inside, you know. I said, yeah, you know, I know you can come inside. But I said you can do this thing. And they can do it. She opened it, this is a slave thing, you know, slave. I choose to do this. And I'm doing it. And I did it. I can tell you, my father destroyed me. My father so tired that my wife may sleep before me. Ready? <laughs> In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So it boosted my, my wife's confidence in me, but it also boosted my son's confidence. Because he, he know that like, daddy said to mommy, he can do this and he do it. So the next time he tell me that we can go skating, we can go skating. Or when he said he can do the for me, he can do it. Because that's who he is as a person. So confidence itself is also produce other people's confidence in you. But if you want to boost yours, you gotta come up with a plan. That's number. That's number two. We get it for number three. So 
He's going to come over the blind. Here, to him. Number two, do what you say you can do. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close, three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. That's number three. And you see, all kids, you on the outside to dishonor your agreement with yourself. But when it comes to your ability to remain confident in achieving what you want to achieve, it puts it at a critical disadvantage. If you see it, you can do it. Get up and do it. Rain, fall, sunshine, hail, snow, or storm. Ready again. I see it, you can do it. I can do it. I say I work out four days a week. I can do it. If it is that I can't do four days a week, I'm only committing to two. Ready. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's close. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you can only do two, only say you can do two. If I could only do ten blocks, I should have said the boy with this. I would like to be able to install all of you. But I can't do all. I can only do ten. And you see if I do that ten, that can increase my confidence in myself. Because I say, you know what, I can do ten. And it honor my agreement. So the next time she asks me to do ten. Or install plants and they go install. I know look, I could do 10 in this time frame. Now, four, right? That's four. This one's gonna go like. You gotta lunge it front and back. You can do this with no way if you want. But if you want, if your plan is to get your legs looking, looking and feeling tight, add some weight to it. So you go front lunge. And then we go back lunge. Front and back is one. All right? And we can do all 10 on one side, all 10 on the next side. Get ready. In three, two, one, front, go. Back. One. Back. Two. Back. Three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten. Switch, three, go to the front. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, 
here was here was destroy your confidence. See, not being able to to complete your tasks, especially if you see you can do it. That may seem small, man. I say you do four four days, but I can only do two. I can't get four days. Make up your mind early on in the game to decide to do it slow. It's better for you to do a little bit consistently than to try to do a lot and don't get do. Because the next time you try to do that a lot and you you are complete that, that erodes your confidence in being able to complete the task. And it's not that the task hard enough. And I task hard. But what happens is, is because you keep trying to do something and know that you're gonna do it, that's what's de destroy your confidence and being able to get that ready again. In three, two, one, go. Front, back, one, front, back, two, front. Back, three, front, back, four, front, back, five, front, back, six, front, back, seven, front, back, eight, front, back, nine, front, back, 10, switch, three, two, one, go, front, back, one, front, back, two, front, back, three, front, back, four, front, back, five, front, back, six, front, Back, seven, front, back, eight, front, back, nine, front, back, ten. So as much as running is a book, or people think running is a book, get a better time, running, working out it's more about building the habits that can get you to the point that you won't get to more than getting that fast finish time or sexy looking body it's more to it than that you want to build healthy habits because you want to replace the things that cause you to pack on your weight the bad habits you're not moving, eating poorly, not sleeping well, minding people's business by you so you avoid minding yours, or minding people's business, minding people, minding your business when you should be minding yours. Because you can't do this, you can't do two of the same things at one time, you know. You can't mind your business and mind other people at the same, same time. It's either yours or theirs. Don't even mind them when minding yours. Ready again. In three, two, one, front, go. Back, one, front, back, two, front, back, three, front, back, four, front, back, five, front, back, six, front. Back, seven, front, back, 
got one more trick. We got one more. One more. And then we're going to know we back. We got hip thrust. We got crunches here top. Leg raises and reverse crunches. But in order to get the task done effectively, we must have the right tools. Because my wife, she installed some of the flaps before, right? And she had a spin because the dirt was actually dirt. So she was able to easily do this. Take my foot out. Put me dirt. So I mean, we see a spin. Because when she was doing it before, I had our really was outside watching. She had a, you know, some boy had a supervise the job. So I mean, Ari was supervising. So when she was over there, I was watching her and said, all right, cool. He spit to work. Ready again. You want to make sure you have the right tools. Cause when I went to do it, I just go flat. Be a rock. Three, two, one, go. One. Rest. 
That's wrong one. So don't mind the industry, man. The industry just want you buy a whole set of things, programs and systems in order to work. Actually, the system that you probably had before this, the gym that you went to before this, probably could have worked with if you remain consistent with the plan. But you must have the right tools, pay attention to the right things. Physical activity, nutrition, rest and recovery. All the other things surrounding the weight loss. Go on. Ready again in three, two, one. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that was the point number three. You must have the right tools. If you don't have the right tools, or you don't pay attention to the right areas in order to achieve what you want to achieve, you can be like me, with a speed, bucking rock. And if you bucking rock with a speed, what happens is that you try to use force to move in something that cannot be moved with the tool that you're using. So force against force means that you're going nowhere. Ready again. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, rest. I know what number that is with feelings though. You think that's cool? That's three. Or you say it's three. I feel it's man. I feel it's three, but I feel it's four. You got one more round, and then you go to the core. You get the belly, man. So that's all the things that you need. That's all the things you need to, to boost your confidence. Have a plan. Do what you say you can do. And use the right tools. Actually, you can get one more. Ready again. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Two, one, go. One, two, 
Trigger. Four. Cut. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Rest. That's fifty. If my mass mass it, nothing. That's one zero. Get your real self real quick. You're going back to my hole again. A three, two, one, crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, rest. That's a hundred crunches done in two minutes. You got leg raises, no matter if you're back. Three leg raises, leg straight, reverse crunches, knees bent. In three, two, one, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heel taps. Tap the heels like this. Get ready. I know them is only 50. You're coming back to them. Get ready. In three, two, one. Heel taps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, 
and even if you can't get in full dessert, because when you start, it will be where you can finish. Just remember that. But if you can, that's okay too. There's no flexibility competition. I think all of us working on the same thing. Trying to improve our, our entire health. Open those legs as wide as you can. But it is you want weight loss, you want tone body, deep back into your nose, exhale and reach towards the floor in front of you. But when you want muscle growth, we all working towards the same thing. So all you want is consistency. Get that pickaxe. Even though the environment may seem rough, all right, come back up. Pull both feet in. And pull yourself a little closer to your hips. And pull forward. You've got to keep hitting that pick out in the earth in order to agitate, ag agitate it. Some people can lose weight faster than some. That's just how the bodies work. But the key is consistency, not complexity. All right, set up on those hands and knees. One step back on the legs. Last stretch in the morning. Sit back on those legs. You work them hard. Arms will stretch in front of you. Drop your head between your shoulders. Congratulations to you, team. We just completed today's workout. For those of you who are going to follow along, don't follow along. <laughs>